In the haunting words of Dr. Strangelove, life could go on beneath the ground for perhaps a hundred years. But what would really happen in the aftermath of a nuclear war? The thought of nuclear conflict has haunted humanity since the first atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. While most discussions focus on the immediate devastation of nuclear explosions, the long-term consequences could be even more catastrophic. From nuclear winter to global famine, from electromagnetic pulses to worldwide fallout, the effects would reshape our planet in ways we're only beginning to understand. In this video, we'll explore the chilling reality of what happens after nuclear weapons change our world forever. The First Hours of Devastation Within hours of a nuclear exchange between major powers, our world would become unrecognizable. Modern thermonuclear weapons dwarf the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. A single warhead creates a fireball one mile in diameter, 19 football fields of pure fire, generating temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. The initial blast waves level everything within three miles, accompanied by winds exceeding several hundred miles per hour. Cities become infernos with streets literally melting into molten asphalt lava. Steel, lead, and titanium melt in the intense heat. The destruction spreads far beyond ground zero as electromagnetic pulses from high-altitude detonations disable electrical grids and electronics across entire continents. Communication systems fail, transportation networks collapse, and modern infrastructure crumbles within minutes. Hospitals lose power, water treatment plants shut down, and the basic systems that support modern civilization cease to function. The immediate casualties would be staggering, but even survivors outside the blast zones would face dire circumstances. Without functioning infrastructure, basic necessities like clean water, food distribution, and medical care become nearly impossible to maintain. Emergency services, already overwhelmed by the immediate devastation, would be crippled by the loss of communication and transportation systems. The electromagnetic pulses would destroy most unshielded electronic devices, including computers, cell phones, and vehicles with electronic components. In our interconnected world, this sudden loss of technology would amplify the chaos and impede any coordinated emergency response. The onset of nuclear winter begins almost immediately. As cities burn unchecked, megafires develop around every detonation site. These fires, covering hundreds of square miles each, consume everything in their path. Without functioning fire departments or emergency services, the fires burn until they exhaust all available fuel. The intense heat from these fires creates powerful updrafts that carry soot and ash high into the stratosphere, where they begin to spread globally. The darkening sky. As the fires rage unchecked in the first weeks, smoke plumes merge and spread. Scientists estimate that a full-scale nuclear war would pump 330 billion pounds of soot and ash into the atmosphere. This immense cloud would block approximately 70 percent of sunlight in the mid-latitudes, creating what researchers call nuclear winter. The effect is more severe than any volcanic eruption in recorded history. Within weeks, temperatures plummet by up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit in many regions. The temperature drop proves particularly devastating in agricultural zones. Regions from Iowa to Ukraine experience sub-freezing temperatures even during summer months. Some models suggest these conditions could persist for six years or more. The dramatic temperature change disrupts weather patterns globally. Rainfall decreases by 45 percent worldwide as the hydrologic cycle weakens. Monsoon systems collapse, and traditionally fertile regions become too cold and dry for conventional agriculture. The stratospheric smoke layer produces another insidious effect, destruction of the ozone layer. Nuclear detonations release massive amounts of nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. Combined with the heating of the stratosphere by suspended soot, these chemicals trigger reactions that break down ozone. Models predict a 30 to 70 percent reduction in the ozone layer over the northern hemisphere and 20 to 40 percent in the southern hemisphere. This damage would persist for years, allowing dangerous levels of ultraviolet radiation to reach Earth's surface. Radiation's Invisible Reach While the temperature drop and ozone depletion reshape global climate, radiation spreads its own deadly effects. Initial nuclear explosions release intense radiation that kills quickly, but the longer-term effects of fallout pose an ongoing threat to survivors. Radioactive particles carried by wind and rain contaminate vast areas far from the original blast sites. Some isotopes, like strontium-90 and cesium-137, create hotspots that remain dangerous for years. 
The fallout patterns depend on weather conditions and particle size. Heavier particles fall closer to blast sites, while lighter ones travel thousands of miles. Rain and snow wash these particles from the atmosphere, creating concentrated deposits that contaminate soil and water supplies. Plants absorb these radioactive elements from contaminated soil, concentrating them in their tissues. Animals that eat these plants further concentrate the radiation, creating a deadly cycle of bioaccumulation. Long-term exposure to elevated radiation levels increases cancer risk and causes other health problems. Particularly concerning is the effect on human reproduction and development. Radiation damage to genetic material can cause birth defects and other hereditary problems that persist for generations. The combination of direct radiation exposure and contaminated food and water creates an ongoing health crisis that would last decades. The Collapse of Agriculture as nuclear winter takes hold and radiation spreads, global agriculture collapses. Recent studies suggest crop yields would decrease by up to 90% in some areas due to reduced sunlight, lower temperatures, and contaminated soil. The growing season in many regions shortens dramatically or disappears entirely. Crops fail due to frost, insufficient light, or drought as weather patterns shift. The few areas that remain viable for agriculture struggle with contaminated soil and water. The ocean food chain also suffers severe disruption. Reduced sunlight decreases phytoplankton productivity, the foundation of marine ecosystems. Fish populations crash as their food sources disappear. Radioactive contamination of marine environments creates additional pressures on surviving species. The combination of agricultural collapse and marine ecosystem disruption eliminates most food production capacity worldwide. The breakdown of transportation systems and electrical grids makes food distribution nearly impossible, even where some production continues. Modern agriculture depends on complex supply chains for fuel, fertilizer, and equipment. Without these inputs, even potentially productive areas struggle to maintain significant output. Food storage becomes problematic without refrigeration and climate control. These factors combine to create widespread food shortages within months. Societal Transformation The collapse of food production triggers devastating social changes. Recent models suggest that in a full-scale nuclear war between the United States and Russia, more than 5 billion people could die from starvation alone. The breakdown of civil order would likely begin within days of the nuclear exchange as people realize the extent of the disaster. Food riots and mass migrations would overwhelm remaining government structures. Communities that maintain some cohesion face difficult choices about resource allocation. Modern medical care becomes nearly impossible without electricity and supply chains. Diseases that are easily treatable today become deadly again. Mental health deteriorates under the constant stress of survival and the loss of modern comforts. Social structures that have existed for generations break down as people focus on immediate survival. The few areas that maintain some agricultural production would face intense pressure from refugee populations. Traditional national boundaries become meaningless when people migrate in search of food and habitable conditions. The concept of organized government likely survives only in isolated pockets with sustainable food sources and defendable borders. Long-term recovery prospects The path to recovery from nuclear war would take generations. Even after temperatures begin to normalize and radiation levels decline, the loss of knowledge, infrastructure, and social organization presents enormous challenges. Many modern technologies would be lost as the specialists who understand them die and manufacturing capabilities disappear. The surviving population would need to relearn basic agricultural and survival skills while dealing with a permanently altered environment. The environmental changes could be irreversible on human timescales. Some models suggest that new climate patterns might establish themselves, creating permanently altered growing regions. Scattered populations would need to adapt to local conditions rather than relying on global trade. The loss of modern medical knowledge and technology would result in much higher mortality rates from previously manageable conditions. Humanity would likely survive in some form, but civilization as we know it would end. Recovery would require rebuilding from a pre-industrial level of technology in many areas. The knowledge preserved by survivors would shape the future development of human society, but the path forward would be fundamentally different from our current trajectory. Seeds of Hope and Resilience 
Despite the catastrophic scenarios presented, humanity has shown remarkable resilience throughout history. Various initiatives are currently working to prevent nuclear conflict and prepare for worst-case scenarios. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault in Norway, often called the Doomsday Vault, stores millions of seed samples from around the world, preserving agricultural biodiversity for future recovery. Similar projects exist for preserving human knowledge, from the Memory of Mankind project carved in ceramic tablets to digital archives designed to survive electromagnetic pulses. Scientists are also developing more resilient crop varieties that could better withstand climate fluctuations and radiation exposure. International cooperation in space exploration has led to self-sustaining habitat technologies that could help humans survive in hostile environments. Additionally, renewable energy systems and decentralized power grids could provide crucial resilience in post-disaster scenarios. Communities worldwide are developing local food systems and teaching traditional survival skills, creating pockets of self-sufficiency. The growing awareness of nuclear war's consequences has strengthened international movements for disarmament and peace. While the threat remains serious, these preparations and preventive measures offer hope that humanity not only could survive such a catastrophe, but might also prevent it altogether through increased understanding and cooperation. Now it's time to hear from you. What steps do you think the international community should take to prevent such a catastrophic scenario from ever occurring? Share your thoughts in the comments below.